Hi Lux Travelers, welcome back to my channel. Jade here with Lux Travel. We are a boutique luxury travel agency curating door-to-door -door itineraries for our discerning clients to experience best each destination has to offer. We are currently in London and we're staying at the Four Seasons London at 10 Trinity Square. There are two Four Seasons in London. One is Four Seasons Park Lane and the ones we're currently um, staying at, Four Seasons London at 10 Trinity Square, is located right next to the Tower of London and Tower Bridge, as well um, close to the London Bridge. Um, so across the bay, there's uh, the Shard. Um, and I would say this area has more, um, it's more, um touristy almost and the other location is more um central when it comes to shopping and dining the hotel four seasons london at Century square is absolutely beautiful it has that the hotel used to be the port authority of london once you step in the grand entrance the hotel has a very wide lobby space that center has a rotunda restaurant which is casual dining for breakfast afternoon tea and evening cocktail hours rotunda as well um, has live music and pianist playing for from the afternoon and onwards so the atmosphere is really beautiful and as a hotel guest even when we did not dine there, we were able to just pass through and really enjoy that atmosphere in the lobby area. The two restaurants, May, which is Asian Fusion, very beautifully decorated, also exquisite menu. And the other one is Le Dame de Pique. Le Dame de Pique is a two Michelin star restaurant with set menu. Le Dame de Pique is headed by the female chef that has the highest um, um, awarded Michelin star recognition in the world. There are quite a few different room accommodations, different categories here at Four Seasons London at 10 Trinity. Um, so I am showing a few different configurations in this video. We are staying at a two bedroom residence. So you can see the huge amount of space that we have in our residence with a very very long hallway a um, living area with tv and couch sitting space a giant dining table that could fit um, eight people as well as additional dining space on the countertop with the kitchen island we had a full kitchen set up as well as laundry facilities in this living space uh, there's also iron and basically everything you'll ever need during your time in London or anywhere is right here in the residence and being two bedroom there's two baths um, the ensuite in the master is much larger and has um, a separate bathtub, a standing shower. Um, we also had received lots of baby amenities for our baby that we're traveling with. There is also a half um, powder room, half bath that is outside of the guest bedroom, or not the guest bedroom, but the second bedroom, which guests can use if you are inviting anyone over or during your time in London um, and this would definitely be my favorite category here in Four Seasons London at 10 Trinity um, there are also beautiful suites and junior suites that I'm featuring in this video suites are definitely great for couples that um, are waking up at different schedule as well as having uh, uh, having guests or clients over during your time in London so you can have that living and also uh, bedroom space little separation 
Um, of course, the extra space is always nice, especially when you're traveling with children or kids as well, so that they have a little bit more space to run around, uh, run around and play. Um, you know, our baby was very, very happy to um, enjoy the space in the residence, and she was throwing herself on the carpet and just giggling and enjoy the space. So, what you're seeing uh, or what you saw outside um, the windows that I am showing in the residence is a private garden for one of the suites. So as you can see, this, the garden does not have as much privacy as one may like, but it is a nice area, especially during nice weather. Family can be outside and enjoy that um, beautiful outdoor space that's private to you. Um, I would also be able to recommend the different categories and connect your rooms or giving this type of recommendations when you are my clients and looking for a consultation or to complete your booking. All of my clients enjoy VIP benefits in any four seasons in the world um, and additional preferred partner hotels that we are we have a great relations with. So I welcome you to reach out via my email address linked down below. If you enjoy this type of video, don't forget to give this video a like, um, thumbs up, and subscribe to our channel. Hit that bell notification button so you could be notified when we are posting new videos on a weekly basis. And enjoy the rest of this video. Hi, it's me again. I want to actually add that the pool area in the spa is really nice. Um, it's connected to all the residence and room with a separate elevator so you can actually wear your robe and walk in the hallway to go down in a separate elevator um, for the guest rooms and residence both and access to the spa area gym in privacy so you don't have to walk through the lobby and the pool has different temperature it's all temperature controlled but the the main big one um, it is temperature controlled but in a um, nice a little refreshing temperature and the other one behind which is the hydrotherapy pool with different aqua jets is warmer but it's not as warm um, as the jacuzzi yet and um, you also have the steam room on one side and the sauna on the other one so it's quite nice um, facility to have. Not all luxury hotels in London actually offer that. So especially when you're more tired um, throughout the day, this is uh, definitely a highlight to come back with you at the hotel and enjoy. On top of that, location-wise, even though I said that this location is more touristy because it's located right next to London Bridge and Tower Bridge and Tower of London. Um, however, I feel like because it, it is also a much wider and open area, there's really about no traffic right outside of Four Seasons London at Ten Trinity Square because on the other side um, where I mentioned Mayfair Soho, um, or um, Covent Garden. The Covent Garden is actually still really close uh, in terms, pretty close if, if you take um, an underground or a car. Um, over there, the foot traffic right outside of the hotel is much, much more frequent and busier than this side of the uh, town. So I feel like however it, it, you're in front of almost um, a lot of attractions you are still in a very quiet and secluded area if that makes sense because right in front of Four Seasons uh, London at Ten Trinity Square there is a small Trinity Square Park and you are shielded away from um, the other traffic that's going in and out and around Tower of London so 
you are actually at a more private and quieter neighborhood uh, or, or area right in front of the hotel compared to what I mentioned on the other side, maybe the Four Seasons uh, Park Lane, which has more food traffic right in front along with other hotels in the same location. So I just want to add this part here as well to give you a more overview of the property and I'm still just email away for your upcoming travel. See you in the next one.